now that the top's rigged I'm going to prepare it so that I can add the buttons as rigid follow note the first you're going to do is select I'm pressing the alt key so the control key and then I'm going to use my plus key to select everything and then I'm going to do geometry visibility hide selected polygons right click again editing and I'm going to say delete hidden polygons yes and now I have to save the top again with the final name that I want to have it for. So it's going to be File, Support Asset, Figure Prop Assets. And it's going to be just Threads Top. Threads Outfit. So that's the final name that I want the outfit to be saved as. Now I've already saved it, so I'm not going to resave it again. Okay, the top is in base resolution and I'm, I'm going to turn on wire texture shaded so that I can see the polygons. And then I already prepared the buttons as little props. Um, basically I saved every button out as a separate OBJ, I uh, imported them. Make them all to set them to high resolution. And now, if I click on the Joint Editor tool, I can adjust the rotation points. Green will be where it rotates, and red's the end point. Align the node and then save it as a figure prop asset. I save it in a folder just for rigid follow nodes. Now I already saved all of these out before, but there you can see a save button one. You can do this them as instances, but for buttons it's so so low in polys. I prefer to have every each one by its uh, as an individual OBJ. All right, and I did the same for everyone. Okay, select the thread top, and now I'm going to use the geometry editor. Have the top selected and hide the button, and underneath, exactly underneath the button you select the face that you want to use as the base of the button. Go down, do the same again. Select the two faces. Right click, geometry assignment, create rigid follow node. Same for button 3. Create rigid follow node from selected. And button 5. Okay, now I'm going to drag and drop each uh, button onto the Correspondent node. Right 
right now I want to change the parent for each node so I select the closest body part which for, uh, for button 1 would be chest lower select it on the top and then just drag it onto into place same for button 2 is chest lower just drag and drop it 3 I think that's close to abdomen upper I'm going to drag it onto abdomen upper and same with 4 and 5 save a wearable preset and I usually put wearable behind the name just to uh, remember which is which Genesis selected and then only the top and there's your wearable preset saved out ok now I have to test it back to high resolution and you're going to do So far, so good. Okay, button button four is twisting a little bit out of place. Alright, so it's only that one. Yeah, it's it's twisting out of place. So take it off again, delete that one, and now I'm gonna recreate it. Well, it takes to shade it. Take it back down to base resolution. Okay, with the top selected and the geometry editor tool. This time I'm only going to choose one polygon and create rigid follow node from selected. I'm going to use the move tool. And adjust it just a little bit. Bring it out. There we go. Okay. Drag it onto there and drag it back onto the chest. All right, high resolution. Let's try it again. Bend's good. Alright, twist is better. It's not twisting out of the center anymore. And again, save it as a wearable preset. I like to hide the little nodes and I guess I should make the buttons the correct shader there you go alright hide that Turn it to high, mesh smoothing on, and then I'm going to save the top as a wearable preset again, which will then save everything in in one file. There we go, and now the buttons will load with the top.